This is a new partnership, APHA and the FCC. Some people might not see the connection. So why do you think this partnership is so valuable? So in 2014, the chairman of the FCC, uh, Tom Wheeler, created the Connect to Health FCC Task Force. And it really was out of a core realization that connectivity was transforming health and healthcare in this country, the way that we experience health and healthcare. And he wanted to make sure that the FCC was ahead of that technology curve. He also saw huge opportunities to meet the nation's health goals by leveraging connectivity. That means everything from rural and underserved areas to veterans to people with disabilities. And you know, the chairman often will say, you know, that everything broadband touches, it transforms. And that's certainly true in health. You see it, I know it. And what we have is a situation where broadband connectivity is increasingly a social determinant of health, right there with education and income and everything else. So really there's no other place to be than APHA hobnobbing with public uh, health leaders. You know, we had the pleasure in August, just a couple months ago, of meeting with Dr. Benjamin and getting his perspective on the future of connected health. And it really was amazing to realize how our goals as the broadband agency and Dr. Benjamin's goals, you know, for Generation Public Health were really aligned. So where else could we be? In what way can FCC help APHA with its goal of achieving the healthiest nation in one generation? You know, health touches every sector and every sector, you know, impacts health. Uh, and we think that to meet the nation's health goals, connectivity is fundamental. You often hear reading is fundamental. In this case, connectivity is fundamental. Uh, I will tell you that the chairman often will say that the mission of the agency is to make sure that networks, broadband networks, work for everyone. That the connectivity, the technology is not the goal, it's what broadband enables in health. And so from our perspective, since we know that most of health happens in the community, not in the hospital, not in the doctor's office, uh, we've got a partner, we've got to work together, and we have to put connectivity at the center of this transformation in healthcare. And you actually have specific examples of where access to the internet has really made a difference for health. We have been going around the country, going outside Washington, trying to understand sort of where stakeholders in the broadband health ecosystem are on the issues, figure out what their perspectives are, and really try to make sure that we understand how they're meeting the challenges, right, of making their communities healthier. Uh, and one thing that stuck in our mind was a visit to rural Mississippi. We went to the heart of the Mississippi Delta and we wanted to look at one successful, really amazing story about a partnership, back to that word again, right, between you know, the University of Mississippi Medical Center, so an academic medical center, the state government, um, a network provider, a mobile broadband provider, um, clinicians and health educators really putting their best thinking caps together to try to figure out how to reduce diabetes, uh, which is at epidemic levels in their community. And they built something called the Diabetes Telehealth Network. And they took 100 patients with uncontrolled diabetes and they gave them a tablet and they connected them to health resources that they do not have in that community. You know, in that community, 40% of the children are obese. One in five people have diabetes. Uh, there is no supermarket uh, within 20 miles. And so what that did is it used remote monitoring to really transform the lives of these 100 patients. Just in that pilot phase, we learned that they reduced hospitalizations to zero and they re significantly reduced the cost of providing health care to those patients. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I will tell you, when Mississippi talked to us about this, they said one key word. Without connectivity, none of that would have been possible. And so from our perspective, you know, connectivity is a public health tool. We all need to view it that way and to really partner to make a connected and healthier nation. Thank you so much. Absolutely, it's been great to be here.